Did you know how the heart contracts? This video explains it. Cardiac muscle fibers are striated like skeletal muscles, but involuntary like smooth muscles. They are ribbon-like rather than cylindrical. They interdigitate and branch with each other. When two muscle fibers meet, the membranes are thickened to form intercalated disc. Each muscle fiber has a nucleus. Let's see the cut section of a cardiac muscle fiber. The cell membrane of muscle fiber is called sacrolemma, and the cytoplasm is called sarcoplasm, which contains nucleus, mitochondria, and sarcoplasmic reticulum. Each muscle fiber contains many myofibrils. These are openings of T-tubules, which we will discuss later in the video. These myofibrils are arranged in parallel. Let's see more about intercalated disc. These enfoldings are tight junctions, so it doesn't allow ions to pass through. But it transmits the pull of one muscle fiber to other muscle fiber, so it helps in increasing the force of contraction. At the outer border of intercalated disc, there are gap junctions. It allows action potential to pass freely to other cardiac muscle fibers. So that the heart contracts in a coordinated way. Let's see about each myofibrils. It has thin and thick filaments called myofilaments. These are contractile proteins. The thin filament is called actin, and the thick filaments are called myosin. The portion of myofibril between two Z lines are called sarcomere. In light microscope myofibrils has light and dark bands. The light bands are due to actin filaments, and it is called I band, and the dark bands are called A bands. In this area thick filaments line up with thin filaments. In the center of A band there is another lighter H zone, where thin filaments doesn't overlap the thick filament. At the Z line, the sarcolemma invaginates to form transverse tubules or T-tubules. The longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum or L-tubule run along the myofibrils. They do not open to exterior as T-tubules. The ends of L-tubule on either side of T-tubule are dilated to form terminal cisterns. T-tubule with adjacent two terminal cisterns are called triad. We will see in the next video the molecular basis of muscle contraction.